just before this video starts, I'm very sick. No, I'm not very sick in Jesus' name. I'm healed, but I'm slightly sick. So I have a sound like a boy today, but I'm just going to work with it. Okay, now start. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. I deeply apologize for my inability to consistently update you on the occurrences of this crazy life I'm currently living in. I have to pinch myself every now and again that this isn't a dream. That yes, I'm living in the beautiful Sydney, Australia and attending my dream college, studying what I love and am passionate about. My last update to you was a joy to make. I loved recounting how God has been molding me into the woman he designed me to be through the new lessons and experiences. Although, I don't think I did a very good job at showing you what those experiences looked like. The reality is, the process of learning looks quite different from the lessons themselves. So that's what this letter is for. Hopefully, it will give you a little more of a glimpse of the how to the what. A day in my life. Australia edition. There's no better way to begin the day, if not with journaling, a devotion, and time with God. It usually looks a little like this. Scripture of the day, observation. What is it saying? Application, what can I do about it? Devotional reading, prayer, and then I close with five things I'm grateful for. Starting the day with an attitude of gratitude. Come on, rhyme zone. Moving on, it's breakfast time. I love quick fix it. Wow, I sounded like I was in a breakfast commercial. It's breakfast time. <laughs> okay, again, yeah. Moving on, it's breakfast time. I love quick fixes and sweet stuff. So I usually opt for some granola with yogurt. And berries. And honey. And if I'm feeling fancy, I'll bake a pastry for the week. I've done that once. Okay, moving on. <laughs> if I don't head straight to class, I usually have a meeting or I'm serving. Okay, we're having our Filipino meeting. What are we gonna be doing? Talking about our end of the semester party. Yeah, so we have fun this song. <laughs> you may or may not know, but I attend a Christian school, so I have many opportunities to further my skills, mine in terms of film and TV, by volunteering to serve in the church or during our chapel services. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm your director. This is Talia, and we're going to teach you about camera Directing. operating. And look, that's Dave. <laughs> Hi, Dave. Where are we? One, Sit down. We're in the okay, control room. No, no, I've never been I'm in before, so, for so I'm, I guess, dance. forget <laughs> This is what goes behind yeah. all of the <laughs> chapel stuff. Classes are always different, depending on the day. I have a mix of Bible-based studies and film and TV classes. I study cinematography, screenwriting, digital editing, and studio camera for the TV side of things. And for my ministry studies, we have Old Testament Introduction, which is an utterly beautiful class about the beauty of the Bible. And we are smacked with wisdom by our trainer, Paul Mugge. He's actually insanely amazing. And we also have personal leadership. Here, we learn how to be a leader with all aspects of life in terms of finances, relationships, personal devotion time, and all that jazz. It's like every class I walk out of there, I'm like, wow, I need to change so much about myself. But no, it's it's actually really good. It's actually really good. After my classes, I see my beautiful friends if I don't have chores. And I usually do have chores, but I still see my friends, which is why my room is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> no, but those days that I actually decide to do chores, um, it's usually 12 at night or um, 3 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> but I usually do get around to doing it. And when I do so, very therapeutic for me. Oh my gosh! This is my roommate. <laughs> oh my gosh! For a second, I thought I knew you were recording, but for like half a second, you have something in your teeth. Oh. For like half a second, I thought you were on FaceTime. Oh my gosh! And I was like, oh my gosh! Some person just coming to live. This is funny. <laughs> I'm trying Are you to like post this. There's maybe parts of it. <laughs> yeah, this is. This is what I have to live with. No, it is what I get to live with. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so if I didn't have chores, there are many things that my friends and I would like to do. Come on, hey, you're pretty. Just say hi, please. Is this my mom? Introducing you guys, this is Nune. Hi. 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 H
Hello. What's up, guys? He's from the Philippines. Hello. Hi. Where are you from, Emma? Um, China and Germany. This is Talia, guys. Hi, Talia. Will this make the vlog? Yes, this will make the vlog. <laughs> God. What are you doing? I'm editing the video that I was supposed to finish. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. Good morning, welcome to the shoot. Hello, Hannah, and today's first shoot. Oh, this is a bad. We're at Celia's house. We got Josh on the bed over here. You can get enough sleep last night. I would go in. Yeah. Oh, we got Josh on the bed. Oh, yeah. Josh is <laughs> Shall I get out? Yes. No. Weekends look a little like that too, with a little bit of church mixed into it. And no, I am not complaining. Music that makes you dance your socks off. Messages that change the inner parts of you. And a community that loves on you. Even the 6 a.m. call times. Ain't got no complaint. So I would consider that a pretty comprehensive idea of what my life looks like here in Australia. Yes, it takes time to adjust and to move to another country, but it helps me so much that I'm rooted in a church that has a beautiful community of people that love and support me. Plus, my family's just a FaceTime away. Right, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> As you guys may or may not know, this channel is something that I want to be of substance to you guys, so it's not just Oh my god, this is my life. I'm gonna be like, yes, this is my life and I've gone through hard stuff and therefore I don't want you to go through those hard stuff and so I'm gonna share with you the lessons that I've learned. And so I do have some tips for those people who are planning to live abroad soon or who are living abroad now and who have family in other places. Um, took me six months to learn these lessons and I don't want you to have to take six months to learn these lessons. And I have notes on the side and I don't have time to memorize it. So let me just relay it to you. Number one, have a chore day, preferably your off day. Um, I, I usually do it like on Monday mornings or on Fridays because those are usually like the times when things need to be cleaned up. Um, so I wash while I cook, fold while watching some Netflix. And then while I'm mopping the floor, I usually dance to my favorite tunes. It just makes everything so much faster and everything so much... Um, it's, it makes everything funner, okay? Number two, send your parents photos. They are suckers for random updates of your face. You can quote me on that. And if you're like me and you are horrible at updating people constantly, I do send them emails at the end of every week. I try to send them emails at the end of every week, updating them on how my week went. On how my week went. Can I say words? No. Number three, on the topic of family, I've lived with rules and guidelines from parents all my life, which I'm not complaining about. I'm very happy that they actually care about me enough to give me guidelines and to look after me. And yes, I appreciate that they're trying to spare me from the lessons that I would have learned from experience instead of just being told 5,000 times. But with old age comes wisdom. I'm just kidding. My mom and I can pass as siblings. I think that says more about me than her. I value the rules and boundaries that my parents have given me throughout my life. And so before I left, before my dad left me here in Australia, he, he settled me down here, if you guys didn't know. We sat down and we set out like a list of boundaries, a list of guidelines of how life should be lived here in Australia. And it's something that we worked on together. So that it's not like every single time I go out, every single time I want to do something, I'm like, hey dad, can I do this? Can I do that? What's so beautiful about boundaries is that it just sets like a little fence. And as long as you know where you're not supposed to be, you could freely move around inside that fence. And so that's really helped me we live a life without fear here. Still being independent while knowing that there are people looking out for me and who have rules and guidelines for me because they love me and care about me. With your families, of course, you have your own way of doing things, you have your own ideas, you have your own beliefs. Sit down and agree with your parents, how would you like me to live here? And then you guys can agree on mutual guidelines and rules and stuff. Telling you if I didn't have those guidelines, I would have made lots of mistakes. And I still do make lots of mistakes, which is good. And I still do make. And I still make lots of mistakes, but it's fine. That's why I have parents and the Lord who will guide me in every single sphere of life. Thank you, Jordan. 
surround yourself with people who love and support you, aka church, maybe relatives, family, friends, or even a mentor. I have a mentor here in Australia and she just met my parents a few days ago, which was amazing. Um, but just make sure that you have someone looking out for you. I mean, you're not meant to do life by yourself. So find those people and hold on to them. Trust me when I say comfort can be found outside of your home country. Lastly, seek to explore, experience, and enjoy. You're in a whole new world. Take advantage of it. Seek the unseen. Aim to understand what's different. And don't lose that wonder of being in a new country. It's so easy to get familiar, but I always try to remind myself, I'm literally walking in the miracle that I prayed for. So, I will leave you with this. And I'm sure of this, that he who began a good work in you will bring it to completion. Philippians 1 verse 6. If God placed you here, he will sustain you as long as you abide in him. And that's why I emphasized mornings with him so much. It's because God allowing you to come here will open up so many doors and paths in your life. But you have to give him the opportunity to walk with you every step of the way and to guide you into the will that he wants for your life. And that's an everyday decision for me. Being filled with his spirit, being reminded what he wants me to do here and what my purpose is. That kept me upright. That's keeping me upright here, even if I don't have um, my usual support system here every single day. As long as I have a God that is willing to fill me up with his spirit and his love and his joy and his peace every single day. Yo, I'm set. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. I have the God of the universe by my side. He's available anytime I call and he gave me the spirit to what? To discipline myself for the independence that was given unto me. By managing my time, doing my chores, excelling in my commitments, to love where I am, the people that I'm with or without to try to stay in contact with them, even if they're far away. To love the school that I attend. And hey, the life I get to live. Not the life I got to live, the life I get to live. Nothing's a have to, everything's a blessing. That's something I learned here. That's not something that actually came from this brain of mine. Lastly, he gave us a spirit to be powerful. I get energy and motivation to do all because of what? Because of him and because I draw from his strength, not my own. Okay, well, there you go, friend. Hopefully this kept you up to speed as to what my life looks like at the moment. Hopefully this also encouraged you even just a little bit to look at the joy and the beauty of every single day. There's always something to be grateful for. So yes, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Goodbye. Boom. Now I'm flying to Manila. To Manila. To Manila. My Uber is coming in 20.